anyone who has not been to my channel before, hello and welcome. If you've seen my videos before, welcome back. Um, if you haven't hit subscribe already, please do so. Uh, I have a lot of good stuff, or hopefully, hopefully it's good, I don't know. Um, yeah, so today I'm unboxing the Loot Crate box, uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's actually the January box. Yeah, uh, today is February 23rd. I actually just got home from work, like almost literally just walked in the door. Uh, I hope I eat my words. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I hope the, uh, don't judge a book by its cover, uh, comes true kind of thing. I'm already disappointed with this box and I haven't even opened it yet. I will, I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So, Loot Crate. Uh, I've been with this box for a little, not quite a year. I think March will be my, my year mark. Uh, it is $39.99 for the box. It is bi-monthly. And I think it's like, I don't know, five or six dollars or something for the, the shipping. Or not quite that much. I pay $44.99 altogether, so it's, I guess, $4.99 for, uh, or five dollars, whatever. Math, not whatever. I've been up since 1.30 this morning, and it is uh, 2.30 or something right now. I'm super tired. It is, I'm half asleep. So, uh, $44.99 altogether uh, with shipping. They've increased the price of this box twice now, just in a little less than a year that I've been with it. The first one, they increased the price of the box itself uh, $3, and then just in the last couple months, they've increased the price of the shipping $2. So I pay a total of $44.99 for the box every other month. And personally, I don't think the quality of the box or the value of the box is worth almost $45. So I have canceled this box. I think I will get one more after the one I opened today. So what I mean by I hope I eat my words and this box turns out to be quite awesome is uh, usually the male man, I think actually I have a male lady, uh, sets this on my porch and they actually stuffed it in the mailbox or my little mail slot on the door because this is my loot crate. It is, what is this? Uh, I'm, <laughs> hopefully looks are deceiving. This is a baby box. What is this? Uh, so it was a month late. This is the second loot crate uh, in a row that has been a month late. The November box was also a month late. Part of my reason why I've uh, become dissatisfied with this. Um, the product in this box has also been kind of eh as well. So I guess we'll we'll open it and see what's going on with it. Uh, the theme for this one was um, as the tie binds, I believe. So the sticker, if it will focus. Uh, what is that? So it says until the very end focus on it again. So crossed wands until the very end. We'll see. Again, I'm hoping this is an amazing box because I'm not impressed with the size of it. This is literally the smallest box I've ever seen for this particular crate uh, to date. So inside I don't know what the uh, what the pattern is there. All right, we'll go with the shirt first. So the only thing that Loot Crate really has going for it is uh, it is the only licensed Harry Potter box. So if you like that sort of thing, I I don't care. I thought I did it first, um, but I've since decided that I, I, it doesn't bother me any. 
I thought this was a shirt, but apparently it is a scarf. Uh, so it is licensed. And what is the pattern? I am not a scarf wearer, so this isn't um, a huge thing for me. This is the... Oh, I see what it is now. Okay. This is the black uh, family tree. I think it's got the, like, the black family all along it there. I don't know how well that's going to show up. What does it say along the top here? It's in Latin, so I'm not even going to attempt to... It's probably their family crest or their family motto, probably. Oh, there's the word black, so there you go. But yeah. There is... Oh, is that serious right there? Oh, yep. There's... There's Sirius where he's uh, splotched off of there. So yeah, it's the the black family family tree in, in a scarf. Again, I I don't wear like scarves or anything, so that'll just be maybe a decorative thing, I guess. I don't know. A uh, Gryffindor tie. I actually have one of these already, but this will be. Um, I have a one-off Etsy, so it's not like an official one. So since this is a licensed box, this will be a licensed official. So that's cool. I do like that. As of right this second, this this is my favorite thing in the box. These are legitimately $35 in the park, which is why I haven't bought one. So if you've ever been to um, Harry Potter World in... Orlando, these are incredibly expensive. Like I said, $35. I'm pretty sure they're $35, which is why I've, I've never bought an official one. I bought one off Etsy for like $10 or $8 or whatever it was. So to have this um, official one, that's cool. Uh, this is legitimately my favorite thing in the in the crate so far. Kind of funny but kind of like dang it so i i have this already i bought it off of uh amazon i actually did a an unboxing when i bought it so this is the wand collection book so i got this in in the loot crate box that's pretty funny so this is uh Kind of pointless for me to have, but oh well. I guess I can get rid of um, get rid of mine, cause it is the exact same. So what it is is um, it shows you like, well here we'll start kind of at the beginning. Mm, so it kind of does like. Well, I will just go to a simple page. So here's one. So there's George Weasley. Oh. And then it shows his wand and a, like a picture of it. And then this first, uh, George Weasley, played by Oliver Phelps, was a natural born trickster along with his twin brother, Fred. As a Hogwarts student, he and Fred had more fun tossing fireworks from atop their brooms them participating in the owl exams. Every wand has a story of its own and in the Harry Potter films each wand has a unique is as unique as the witcher wizard who wields it. Uh, Harry Potter the wand collection is a visual guide to these magical wands, their makers, and the characters who mastered them. Profiles of each wand features a stunning new photography of the original prop, the studio or the wand statistics, insights from the cast and crew, other filmmaking secrets from the Warner Brothers. I have this already. I just haven't quite gotten into the book. I just bought it and then 
uh, set it aside to read later. So I now have a duplicate. And then the last thing in the box uh, is the pin and the card and focus. There we go. Which is the diadem. They are doing the Horcrux line, which I do really like. This one should be the sixth one that I have. The last box that I have should be, again, the final one. So I should have all seven of these um, come the final box, which should be, uh, I guess, next month's box. So then the little pamphlet that comes with to say what was in the box. Uh, magical loot crate. So the Hogwarts house tie, the black family tree tapestry shawl slash uh, scarf, the Ravenclaw's diadem pin, and the wand book. So there were just four items in this box. That's actually incredibly disappointing. So I paid $45 for this box. I, that wasn't worth it. Like it wasn't. Maybe if I hadn't had the book already, it would have been a little bit more worth it. But the fact that the book is now a duplicate, it definitely made the crate not worth it. Uh, it's just hard to fathom that I have $45 invested in a box that was this size. I mean, it's usually way bigger than this. Uh, I mean, there's usually at least two more items in the box. Um, I, I don't know. That was incredibly disappointing. Also, we had to wait another month. I mean, it was a month late in, it was a month late for that. Um, I had a lot of anxiety when I canceled this box and the more that I get these, the more it solidified my decision that I, I made the right choice. So I have, or I had four subscription boxes and I'm not sponsored. That's with my own money. All of these are my own opinions. Um, so I, I needed to cancel um, some stuff because that's, I, I have too much money invested in subscription boxes that I essentially don't need or I'm not happy with. Like, why am I paying $45 for a box that I'm continually disappointed in? Uh, it didn't make sense. Like, why am I doing that? Um, the only thing, like, out of the box, these two things right here. And this is simply because I collect pins and I'm now invested in the Horcrux line because I have all the other ones. So if I hadn't have started or gotten the rest of the Horcrux line, this wouldn't have made any difference. And they're, like, they're pretty, they're well done. They're not, like, cheaply made. I mean, I, they're probably cheaply made, I guess, but they're relatively heavy duty. I'm not gonna roughly use them or anything. They're more, they're a display item only. I'm not gonna be rough with them at all. So they're just a pretty, a pretty look at it item. Um, they're heavy enough that they need two backs on them. It's just something that I now almost have the whole collection. So really, the only Horcrux that I don't have, and I'm actually pretty interested to see how they look at, or how they do it, they could make or break the Horcrux line, because the only one they have left is Harry. It's the only one they haven't done yet. So I'll be, I'll be interested to see how they do that one. Or I'm pretty sure it's Harry that they haven't done. Yeah. And then, of course, the tie. Because it's an official licensed Gryffindor tie. And this one, like, this was worth the box, I guess. To me in the long run. I have no use for a scarf. I have no use for a duplicate book I already have. Um, so really, I paid $45.00 for a scarf that I could have gotten in the park for $35.
So I, I overpaid for $10 for a tie. And I might have actually been able to buy this an official one cheaper somewhere else. So I, I don't know. And it's not just this box. I mean, I'm, I don't know. It's, it is what it is. I did cancel it. I've got one more box coming or I, I should have one more box coming, but it's just a little disappointing to see this size of a box come a month late and then that was the contents of the box. People who are, I don't know, creative with scarves and can use those scarves, that wouldn't be such a waste. I don't know what to do with a scarf. I think I've gotten like two or three of those scarves and I just pack them and put them away because I don't know what to do with them. Uh, they just take up space because I, I have no idea what to do with those. So, oh well. Um, I'm happy for the tie. That is definitely my favorite thing in the box. Uh, the next favorite thing would be the pin. And then after that, the the two other things are worthless to me, essentially. I mean, the scarf idea was neat. If it would have been like a print or something, that would have been more useful for me. Uh, the book, again, if I hadn't already had it, then that would have been cool, but I already have that book. So... Oh well. Other than that, that is the contents. So you've got the ser or the black family tapestry. It's upside down, my bad. The black family tapestry scarf. The wand collection book. The Diadem uh, Horcrux pin. And then the uh, Gryffindor house tie. Which, of course, would probably be whatever house you chose would be your, your tie. And that is the contents of the box. So, overall, disappointed. Um, I'm kind of come to expect that I guess which is again why I canceled the box so I should have one more which will be next month as long as they don't um, have vendor shipping issues again which would be the third time in a row we'll see I haven't gotten any emails or anything yet and then yeah so let me know what your favorite item was in the box mine was the tie um, if you have this box you know are you enjoying this box uh, what do you think about the price raises? Uh, your overall thoughts about the box? Like, I've been disappointed. My very first box was the House Pride box, and I think between that one and, uh, what was it? Like, Defense Against the Dark Arts box? Those two have been literally my, my only two, like, good boxes. And the rest have been kind of, hmm, and that's it. Like, the rest of them haven't been the best so you know let me know your thoughts and feelings about the box like this one or if you have this subscription you know just about this subscription in general you know let me know uh, I, I'd love to know if there's anyone else who feels as dissatisfied with it as I do um, but yeah other than that just Thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, uh, thank you for anyone who has subscribed and you're watching right now, uh, I appreciate any support that you've given me, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye!